Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? Butch Terrell here. I'm gonna do your March monthly read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And we're gonna be using the uh, Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. I've always been a big fan. Uh, I got this deck a little over a week ago. I'm really enjoying it. Really colorful. <laughs> anyway, let's get it. You know where it's going to be Sagittarius. Alright, so the first thing I see, Sagittarius, is I feel like I feel like there's recently been, or fairly recent, there's been a tower moment. You know, I feel like something kind of fell apart. But I feel like it, it was almost, you know, you you seen it coming. So I feel like it really didn't affect you as much as it, it, it you know, what if you didn't see it coming? You know, I feel like it was something that just kind of ran its course. Now I feel like I feel like there's more going on than what you're really seeing moving forward. Now I, I I do feel like there is someone around you that's been around you for a while. Now with this person, I feel like this person has a lot of feelings for you. You know, they think about you exclusively. Now I feel like you may not see how they feel. Or you may not have picked up on it. Not seeing what's right in front of you. And I feel like the reason why is I feel like this person has been holding back their feelings as much as possible. Even though I I feel like this person has a hard time holding back their feelings. I feel like they've been trying their hardest not to come forward. Uh, I feel like a lot of it has to do with the fact that you had that tower moment. You know, they, they want to have an opportunity with you. But they want it to be a fresh start. They don't want to be a rebound. They don't want this to be casual. They don't, you know, they don't want to come towards you until they feel like the moment is right. You know, and I feel like this is part of the, I feel like they've been listening to their intuition and not moving forward in this. Now, I do feel like this person may be dropping hints here and there. Now, I know... I'm a Sagittarius, and believe it or not, I've heard this before, but I never really believed it until, you know, a few years ago. Um, with Sagittarius, apparently, we ha we don't pick up as well on people flirting with us. Um, you know, apparently, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're not very good at picking up on flirting. Um, you know, we take it as someone being nice, but apparently there's more underlining going on there that we're not aware of sometimes. I mean, some it depends on your your, your natal chart. I mean, it depends on your other, you know, your other signs. Um, but apparently, you know, we're not good at that. <laughs> now, like I said... The reason I mentioned that is because I feel like this person, even though they hide their feelings from you, I feel like the amount of feelings they have for you, sometimes they find it really hard. Sometimes I, I feel like they do flirt with you or they do go above and beyond for you. You know, and it's not just out of a friendship thing. It's not just, you know, they're being nice. I feel like they really have some strong feelings for you. And like I said, I feel like they think about you exclusively. 
but they've been they've been waiting for the right moment to come forward. Now with this person, I do feel like you have a strong connection with this person already, but I feel like the the more we move forward here, I feel like it's going to become more more apparent what that connection really is. You know, I feel like this may shock you. You know, I feel like this was meant to be more from day one. But I feel like, like I said, with that past person, I feel like, you know, this didn't move along yet because of that. You know, this person didn't want to be that person that, that gets in between two people. They wanted you and they wanted you to be available, you know, emotionally and mentally. Like I said, they don't want something casual. They don't want something meaningless. They want something that has that has meaning. They want something that because they see you as someone they could have a future with. Now, like I said, this person has been in their head a lot uh, of when the right moment is. But I feel like things are about to change because I do see this person coming forward. You know, I do see them opening up communication. I do see them making an offer. You know, maybe wanting to take you out or, or maybe wanting to hang out. But it's going to be more you and them. You know, they're going to make it more um, apparent what it is they mean by when they want to, you know, be around you or they want to be with you or they want to take you out or they want to do things with you. It's going to be more apparent of what their intentions are. Now, as we move forward, I feel like this, you know, you're going to feel a lot of emotional fulfillment from this person. You know, this is only going to grow. This has become stronger and stronger as we move forward because this person is finally being able to show you how they feel. Now, like I said, this person thinks about you all the time. You know, they've been waiting for the right moment and they feel like their moment is now. You know, they see you as their person. I feel like you'll get what, you know, you're going to get what you want from this person. You know, this this is something they've been thinking about. They've been planning in their head for a while now. This is not something new. But like I said, I feel like, I mean, I feel like this is going to surprise you how deeply they feel for you. But I honestly, if you're like me, you may not be picking up on it. But if you're not, maybe you already felt it. I, like I said, I feel like this person already does go above and beyond for you. You know, they're always there for you when you need them. Because in their head, it's not a friendship. You know, it's more. Because they want it to be more. You know, they've already invested time in this. You know, they have a lot of late nights dreaming about the future with you. They already see a future with you with that Ten of Cups. Now with this, I do see a lot of forward movement. I see a lot of happiness with that Sun card. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. You know, some of the best some of the best relationships start off as a friendship. And I feel like in the beginning, I feel like this was a friendship on both sides. But I feel like the more and more this person got to know you, the more they wanted more from you. You know, the more they've seen a future here. But like I said, I feel like they've been holding back because they wanted to come towards you when you were 100% ready. This person is not interested in making a move when you're not ready because they don't want it. They want their, you know, they want this to be successful. They they want a future with you. They want to build this and, and they're not going to make any moves until they know it's the right moment. But like I said, I feel like this person has always kind of been there for you as long as you've known them. And now I feel like, like I said, I feel like there is moments when this person's um, guard comes down and they, they do drop little hints here and there, but they don't, 
you know, I, I really feel like they try to hold back from that because they don't, like I said, they want you to be 100% ready for this. You know, they want the, they want the percentage of success to be high. <laughs> and they've been holding back their feelings. But like I said, there is moments when I feel like this person has a hard time. And I feel like there is moments when, you know, they may be, you know, you know, subconsciously flirting with you. You know, they are really, you know, I do see this, this person is really genuine and, and a really caring person, but for you, it's more. They're there for you because, you know, they're already in their mind, they're already building that foundation. And like I said, with that eight of wands, I do see that communication coming soon. And I do see them making you an offer. You know, straight out coming out and saying, listen, I want to do something together. And it's not as friends. I want something more from this. You know, I, I had, and I do feel like as we move on, you're going to, you're going to get some more clarity from them as well. And, and them letting you know that this has been something that's been going on in their mind for a while. And, and, and this is someone I feel like they're very, you know, once they feel comfortable, they're going to be very open in, in, in sharing that emotional connection they have with you. Like I said, I feel like there was a physical connection when, when you first met. I feel like there's always been that, you know, physical chemistry. But as we moved on and as we got to know each other, that mental connection, that emotional connection has really grown. Um, now with this person, we ha you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have a lot of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, we have all signs because we have uh, some Gemini, Libra, possibly some Aquarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, and possibly some Capricorn as well. But like I said, I feel like this may shock you because I feel like you may not have seen this coming. And like I said, I mean, maybe it's not a Sagittarius trait, but I, I, I've i heard this and I didn't really believe it until I realized it a few years back, you know, thinking people are being nice to you. Um, you know, and it's not everybody that's being nice to you is trying to get with you, but there is a point where they made it pretty clear and I didn't pick up on it. <laughs> so if that's you, maybe that's why this, this is going to shock you more than, more than I can even see, but I feel like it will be a shock um, because I feel like you weren't aware that this person had this deep of feelings for you. Um, that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.